Good morning. This is Pastor Calvin from First United Methodist Church of Cain, and it's good to come to you this morning just to share a few um, words with you, uh, scripture, and some thoughts this morning. As uh, we approach this day, I want to share with you a scripture today from Proverbs 3 and verses 5 through 8. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be a healing for your flesh and a refreshment for your body. May the Lord bless these words to our heart and to our soul today. I know and I hear and continually see the anxiousness that so many people are facing because of this virus that is plaguing over a hundred countries in the world at this time. It's a time that we are turning to so many different places for reason and for strength. And unfortunately, so often, so many of us get caught up in false reports and hype and speculation instead of truly, truly trusting in trusted sources, in what the uh, official word is and that is being shared. And so we began to create this anxiousness by maybe what someone has posted on Facebook or by what someone has said instead of relying on trusted sources. The most trusted source for me that I have is to turn to God and to trust in God and to believe in God. I know that we might be saying, but you know, what's that gonna do for this virus? It's gonna see us through. I want to encourage you to to read and to look and uh, to to dive into the Word of God, to to dive into reading things that lift your soul and not cause you anxiousness or worry. To to do things maybe in a different and a new way. And. For anyone who hears that, if you're struggling with something right now, I want you to know that I am praying for you and many from our churches and churches in your community, other pastors are praying uh, for their communities and for all people. And I want to encourage you to turn to someone who is going to build you up and not tear you down, not make you think uh, badly of anything. I want to also uh, just say to you today that we will get through this. Uh, We will come out on the other side. And as one of the uh, people, uh, a trusted source that I listened to, who was on our Zoom call uh, last night for our church as, as we're trying to keep connected. She said, you know, this is a restart button. This is a, a restart button. And every morning we need to, I think, reevaluate uh, where we are in our life, and where our families are, and really where we want to be. And if we would be completely honest, what we're striving for in life is to know peace, and to know hope and to know contentment. And really the only way that 
we're going to find that true contentment is going to be by trusting in Jesus Christ, in, in that trusted source who has always been there for us. I spent a lot of time last night um, reading, uh, reading scripture lessons. And uh, today on our Facebook page, I'm going to begin to share some uh, scriptures for you to turn to that will hopefully provide you with uh, the calmness and, and uh, a time of, of trusting in the Lord and, and turning to scripture. But one of the other things that I have been doing for quite some time now is looking for the messages in hymns. And there's a hymn that most everybody knows, whether they're in church or not, whether they believe in God or not, because it's a hymn that, that has been used for a hundred or more years. And the hymn is Amazing Grace. And we're all very familiar with the first verse of Amazing Grace, but I want to share with you this morning the third and the fourth verse as it is shared in our United Methodist hymnal. Verse 3 says, Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace hath brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Verse 4 says, The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Did you hear those words? that through many dangers, toils, and snares, we all have already come. We've all come through something already. And it's going to be through the grace of God that we're going to get through this together. And then remember that we have such a great God that no one can prove that any promise that God has ever made to God's people to the people who call upon the name of the Lord. No promise that God has ever made has he broken. We break promises. We break promises to others. We break promises to friends. We break promises and commitments. And we too have broke promises to God. But we have such a loving God, such a caring God, that God doesn't relent on his word to be with us, that God doesn't break promises that are made to us. And I think it's it's time now to like really reevaluate um, our faith and where we need to be. So I want to say in, in closing to focus on good when there is so much bad around us. Focus on good. Focus on kindness. Focus on prayer. Focus on getting our lives back to the place that they really need to be. And um, know that we are going to come through this, but we need to trust in God. We need to, to listen to trusted sources for this time. And remember that through many dangers, toils, and stairs, we have already come, and that God's promises will always endure. I want to thank this morning in Bachma for providing us with the background music, and I want to let you know that if you want someone to pray with you, I'm available for you. We can do it on Messenger. We can do it by phone. If you need someone to talk to or scream at, I'm available for you. And we are going to continue to minister to the people of God here and beyond. So have a great day. Trust in what's good. Believe in God and know that God loves you, that I love you, and that God will always, always make a way. Be in peace today.